Well, children, I've got an early day tomorrow. I'm going off to bed. Ten thirty. Time sure flew, didn't it? Well, I haven't seen you since you were a little girl. We had a lot to talk about. We probably bored Jim here to the verge of tears. Oh, no, on the contrary. I enjoyed every minute with my wife's young and attractive aunt. He's too gallant to be believed. You just better keep a close rein on that boy. <laughs> well. Aunt Edna. Aunt Edna. Thank you. I mean for inviting us to stay with you while Jim and I find an apartment and get settled and stuff. Come on. You and Jim can stay for as long as you like. It isn't easy for a young couple to transplant in the east after uprooting themselves from the west coast. Besides. I like the idea of you staying here. Well, that's because you haven't seen the worst side of us yet. <laughs> I'll take my chances on the worst side of you, too. Besides, this house sure has gotten big since Larry died six years ago. Much too big for a working widow and her working secretary. Oh, by the way, what uh, happened to Louise tonight? Oh, she has the disconcerting habit of vaporizing when the mood smites her. She's probably in her room reading. She spends a great deal of time alone. Hmm, I'm sort of a quiet girl. Very bright and an extremely faithful business associate. She's nice. But what you need is a man around this, this place. <laughs> Find me one like your Jim, and maybe I'll consider it. Well, good night. Good night. Night, night. Shall we? cheated on me. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Have you ever cheated on me? No. No, never. Not once in the four years we've been married. You're sure? Yeah, positive. Why haven't you? I mean, all men play around. <laughs> Well, not all men. I, for one, don't. But you do have fancies about... about making love to other women. Hey, how do you know what my fantasies are, huh? Hey, uh... Let's, uh... Let's forget this conversation, huh?
Why don't you have an affair? Because I don't need an affair. What's getting into you? I just think it'd be nice if you had an affair. A harmless affair. I wouldn't mind a bit. A harmless affair? Who can I have a harmless affair with? <laughs> Edna. Your aunt? She's attractive. Young. She's about your age. And she digs you. I saw her giving you sidelong glances all evening. Oh, she'd never admit it. But if the truth could be known, She'd love to have you beside her right now. Uh. You know what? If we were smart enough, and if you were ardent enough, she'd be very nice to us. Oh, she's rolling in bank books and blue chip stock certificates. Well, I like nice things. And I can't have nice things on your salary as a draftsman in an aircraft plant. Oh, well, count me out. I'm not a gigolo. Then I'd advise you to have an affair anyway, because I'm going to. Why? I don't know. I just know I need an affair. I, I don't make you happy. Of course you make me happy. Just that I need an affair. Oh, out of bed you're as exciting as a after dinner speech. You are a woman's delight. Some consolation. I'm, I'm a woman's delight, but my wife is going to have an affair. Who, who have you chosen for this uh, interlude? Well, I haven't chosen anyone yet. But I'm going to start looking. I'm going to look until I find someone who thinks enough of me to make my Aunt Edna happy. Well, maybe we just better call the whole thing off, huh? Give up our night. They're too good, aren't they? To give up, I mean. Well, they're pretty good, but uh, you still need uh, other. Well, let's just get some sleep, huh? Things may seem a little bit clearer to me in the morning. Quarterly returns. Will you sign them so that I can get them into the mail? Louise, I don't know what I'd do without you. Louise, how do you like my niece and her husband? Do you want my frank opinion? Of course. I think they're trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? I don't know. But I think they're bad trouble, especially that girl.
something wrong, Mrs. Welch? Just that Louise doesn't like my niece. So Louise doesn't like your niece. Louise doesn't like a lot of people. But Judy, that's my niece, and her husband have moved in with us. I'm just afraid of an eruption of some sort. Now that's what I call a real broad. Who? Who, who, the board, that's who. The lover boy of Fifth Street. You couldn't even get into the same ballpark with her, much less get to second base. Don't be so sure. After all, she is human. Yeah, she's human. That's the problem. She might question what you are. Uh, <laughs> smart broad, huh? Both of you. <laughs> You run away from me.
out of here. Get out of here, or I'll see that you go back to jail for a long, long time. Let me tell you about Paul Green, the recent guest. He's a very disturbed boy. A short while ago, he beat a teenage girl. And he said, let him on and then frustrated him. He beat her so badly, she was in a coma for 10 days. Put him away. Parents had political pull and they let him. Well, I can take care of him. So I saw. You were well on your way when I came in. You don't like me, do you? Why you leave your undies in the middle? <laughs> Besides that, you are evil. Mm. You sure smell good. She sure hates us. Who hates us? Louise. Did you see how she avoids us? No, I don't think she hates us. We're just new here. She's not used to us, that's all. We're a threat to her. A threat? Yeah. We're Edna Welch's concern. Oh. How was your day? <laughs> Frantic. We got a rush job in. They even brought me my lunch. I didn't get away from the board all day. How was yours? I almost had that affair today. I would have, too, only Louise interrupted. She chased him away. Who was it? A young man. He lives in the village somewhere. Judy, I don't think I'm going to be able to take this. Oh, yes, you are. Put your hands like that. Uh, Come on, rub it. Mm. Oh, oh, that feels good. Mm. Oh, good. Well, I have a nice body. You have a fantastic body. Oh, that's enough of that. Why? Because tonight you're going to make love to Edna. Why can't we forget about Edna? Because I don't want to forget about Edna. Oh, honey, after this, do you think I could go back to living in a cold water flat? Yeah, but I've got a job. Now, it, it won't be long before we have a place of our own. Oh, Jimmy, I've heard that song before. Your job pays you $88 net. Yeah, but it'll pay more. But I can't wait until it pays more. You don't want to go along with my idea. I want you to pack. You don't mean it. I do mean it. Either you go in there with Edna, or get out. Yeah, but how am I going to... You go to knock on the door. Tell her that I'm asleep and that you'd like to talk with her. The rest should come naturally. Well, if you're sure that's what you really want. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Okay. Jim? 
You can tell me all about it in the morning. Ah. Come in. Well, Jim. Uh, Judy's asleep, and I, I, uh, thought perhaps you wouldn't mind if we, uh, talked for a little bit. I'd be delighted. <laughs> You're from the West originally? Well, Kansas. Oh, well, sort of West. How do you like the East? Oh, fine. Fine. Like your job? Well, as soon as I get used to the new surroundings and the new, uh, procedures, you know. And my niece. How do you get along with Judy? Well, most times pretty well, but, uh... <laughs> She can be a little bit of a petulant child at times, you know. You're a very attractive woman. Well, thank you. You're a most appealing man. haven't offended me. I'm appalled at me. You're my niece's husband. And when you put your mouth on mine, I didn't care that you were my niece's husband. I wanted to make love to you. Then let's. No. Six years ago, I turned myself off. I can't let you, I can't let anyone turn me on. Please go. So am I. What the hell are you doing back here? Turned me down. Cold. She turned you down? Yeah. On the basis that I was your husband. You couldn't have made a very good effort. Oh, I kissed her. She kissed back. Did she shake you? I mean the kiss. Yeah. Uh, it shook me. All right, then. Get into bed. Night at Porky's place for me. Aren't you afraid to go in there? If the cops ever close in on us. Thank cops, you. come on, it's a private club. And the Constitution says cops ain't got no right in no private club. Unless maybe there's a serious crime committee. Hey, have you ever been in the rumpus room? The rumpus room? Yeah, there are little rooms in the back for uh, real private parties. <laughs> sure, I've been in there lots of times. I hear they have real Roman picnics. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, I'll bet the boss would get a kick out of Porky's. I'm going to ask if she'd like to go. The boss won't go out with you. I should go in the crowd, I'll bet. What do you say, the two of you, huh? I thought I'd have a date, but I'll break it. Are you paying? Yeah, sure, why not? I hit a number last week. I'm going to go and ask her right now. He kissed me. It wasn't the least bit offensive. He was more apologetic. Mrs. Welsh, uh, there's this really swinging private club right down the block here. And, and if you're not doing anything after work, I'd like to invite you to go there with me. And, and Susie and Peg. Oh, Mike, thanks. But... It's
it's really uh, what you might call picturesque. And it's not easy to get into. I'm a member. How about Louise? May I bring her? Oh, sure, of course. Like they say, any friend of yours, no matter how creepy, <laughs> is a friend of mine. I'll let you know for sure after the lunch break, Mike. As of now, for me, the answer is yes. I'm flattered that you've invited me. <laughs> Louise, I've been invited to a private club near here. In this neighborhood? Well, you're not going. Of course I'm going. And you've been invited, too. Not me. I'm going to climb on that milk train and go home. Louise, you won't mention about Jim. Of course not, Mrs. Welsh. started
Hi, Mike. <coughs> Good. Uh, this is Mrs. Welsh, Peggy, and Helen. Yeah, too bad Susie couldn't break a date, huh? But Helen, I'm vouching for them for membership. Well, that'll be 45 bucks, Mike. Initiation. Uh, wouldn't hear of it, Mrs. Welsh. Uh, I hit a number last week. Well, make yourself comfortable, huh? I'll order the drinks. Scotch is a favorite. told me the whole story about how your husband made advances to her last night. My husband made advances? Oh, stop it. You put him up to it. I'm on to you. You're on to what? To your scheme. You're trying to get yourself some soft living by 
getting Edna involved with that puppet you're married to. You sure underestimate her, don't you? And you underestimate that puppet I'm married to. Well, if you're not out of here by this weekend, I'm going to tell Edna everything. Everything? What everything? That you and your husband are colluding to make a fool of her. You thought that emotionally disturbed boy here probably more than once. got to know that you don't like me. It'll be your word against mine. I don't think she'll judge me too harshly. So if I were you, I wouldn't be overly sure of myself. You're scum. And you'll end up destroying yourself. And your thoughts are always so pure. Oh, I've wondered for a long time why you stay alone so much. I mean, with your books. Very interesting taste in literature you have. I was bored this morning, so I browsed through your library. You went into my room? You rummaged through my closet for those How dare you? Oh, you must really fly some fantasies. Why don't you even dare try out one? You act like a china vase in a kid's playpen. Yeah. Just crack. So, what time did you get home? It was almost three o'clock. Less than five hours sleep. You shall sure look fine. I'll have circles under my eyes before noon. I couldn't get over that place. Little girls running around and next to nothing. Duke told me they'll do anything for money. And he meant anything. Where is this place? Here's the card, a membership card. It's right on the same block as the factory. Mike Lund, he works for me, took us there. But the place is amazing. You can buy almost any human service there. Set to go? Sure thing. But don't you want a cup of coffee at least? I'll get some when we get there. See you kids later. Bye-bye. I better go myself. Make sure you're ready. Tonight's the night. You and Edna. Maybe be reasonable. She won't have anything to do with me. So you'll force yourself Oh, come on. You'll be most appreciative after it's over. <laughs> we hope. Right. Hop in. Take me for a drive. Why don't we go back in the house? I'd like to go for a ride. Please. Please take me for one. I'd like to see the countryside.
I've thought about it. And I don't think you should really be in here. After the other night, I had to see you again. Please, just leave. I can't. Five o'clock. This couldn't have been too bad. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll take a shower. She'll get hooked on him. She wants everything you've got. Everything you've worked for. I had to send them away. Both of them. Well, uh, here's Jim now. Jim, why don't you sit down and have some coffee? I, uh, I'll get some on the way. It's uh, getting late. You don't usually leave this early. Well, my uh, supervisor wanted to see me before work today. Where's Judy? She, uh, decided to sleep late. You've got to get rid of them. All of them. You're keen enough to make a fool of you. To pay you for everything you're worth. Yes, my dear Edna. She's going to see to it that they squeeze you out of the house, out of the business, everything.
Yeah. Yes, Mike. You want me to take you to Porky's place? Uh, hey, who is this? <laughs> Look, if you can't tell me, baby, uh, I can't take you. You may be a cop, and if I brought a cop into that place, my name would be Mud. Yeah? Yeah, if I met you, and yeah, if I thought you were legitimate. Okay, look, I'll meet you on 2nd Street. Usually I can tell at a glance if a chick is uh, legitimate. Okay, I say, I quit work at 5. I'll meet you at uh, quarter after. Uh-huh. And look, I warn you, I can tell. I can see right through a phony. Uh. Everything all right, Mrs. Welsh? I mean, you seem so down all day. Everything's all right, Jean. That's good. I was worried. Good night, Mrs. Welsh. Good night, Jean. The report you asked for, Mrs. Welsh. Thank you, Louise. Edna, get rid of them. Send them out of your house. They're ruthless. And they'll hurt you if you don't. Good job, too. 
You've got to visit Edna again tonight. Again tonight? You're not overdoing it a little bit? You've got to put the rush act on now. You can taper it off a little once we've got our claws in. She's probably sell her by now. So, um, go, boy. Go. I'd like to see Mrs. Welch. Judy! Why didn't you call me and tell me you were coming in? I could have planned a day for it. I'm afraid I drove in on the spur of the moment. Would you like to go out for a cup of coffee? Oh, I just had coffee, thanks. Well, perhaps you'd like to see the operation. I'd love to see it. Coincidentally. I have Jim coming in tonight. I told him to meet me here, but I'd like to get back to the house. I have an appointment. With a man? Yes, but it's nothing like that. It's sort of a harmless flirtation. But I wouldn't want Jim to find out about it. I'm sure it hurt his ego. If you could, I mean, if you could maybe take him someplace and occupy him until, say, one or two in the morning. Oh, Edna, I hate to involve you in my intrigues, but if you could do this for me, I'd be oh, so grateful. I'll do it. Your, your flirtation, it is harmless, isn't it? Yes, Edna. It is harmless. So I'd love to take Jim around. Where do you suggest I take him? You're telling us about a private club in this neighborhood. Sort of a... Quirky place. Why not take Jim uh, there? It is sort of racy. Corgi's what the doctor ordered. Take him there. And make sure he has a good time. Well, I'd better be going. Take good care of Jim. Bye. Louise, may I have a word with you? Take the car home tonight. I'm going to stay down here until later. <laughs>
already. In the party. Girls, see that Louise gets comfortable. Louise. She looks so tense. Lovely. I need you massage her. See that she relaxes.
another room. One with a lock on it. going with you.
you did it for money. You like us. You'll do anything for money. Just like us. You like porky. When the airline said we'd have to stay here, I wondered what it would be like. It's going to be nice. What flight did you come in on? Flight 21. 37. 201. I feel dirty. I'm going to take a shower. Well, hurry up, because I'm going to take one, too. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> 